Cancers, my cancers. What's up, water babies? What's popping? What's going on in the life of a cancer for the anime? <laughs> Are you all in this space of acknowledgement, first and foremost? Acceptance? And on your best selfish shit? Because you ought to be. <laughs> hey, boo, hey. This is your first time you're on my channel? I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time you're on my channel, look out. I cuss. Because the little may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say. Oh, but I'm a cuss. So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful video here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing, okay? To the new subscribers, welcome to the family. Y'all, we're a little dysfunctional. We don't, we don't fight for us, okay? We need that shit on other people's channel. <laughs> but we do cry. We share. We love. We evolve. Y'all, we enlighten. We grow. We are one big happy family, okay? Uh, returning subscribers, family. What's pop? Y'all must have been going through some stuff because them views sucked. I usually don't talk about the views. But I looked and I was like, you know, usually I would be in my feelings. But I was just like, I couldn't be because I literally... Well, I got in my feelings, but it wasn't on behalf of me, to be honest. It was kind of on behalf of y'all. So I dug in, and some of you guys are experiencing new love and bliss and la 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 la. Some of y'all got mini Rupertin playing in the background, and some of y'all got Khalees. Oh, hey, you so much right now. Wow, type shit going on. What's going on? <laughs> And some of you guys got Latoya and Latoya in between the two. Just don't know what you want to do with yourself. So the folks got you in your head. You need to get away. Okay, that's first and foremost. A lot of you are really being pulled to water, but let me go ahead with my spiel. Thank y'all for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments. I truly appreciate it, you guys. Um, this is a general reading. It's not going to resonate with everybody. Take what does, leave the rest. If you need a personal, that information can be found within the description. I currently have a sale that can be found in the community tab. Now, because I'm doing some um, late May videos, because I have to get my own shit together, okay? Um, you guys, I may extend that, uh, that sale uh, for a day. I'm not going to do it to my son's birthday is on the 28th. So I'm not going to be ending it, wrapping it up on the 28th. Or if we just give it out, it may, you may not actually get the reading until the 29th. So, you know, if you get a reading from me, excuse me. I don't make you wait long at all. But because Mocha's like, I'm Aries. So I try and treat everybody with that same energy because I don't want to wait. So I try and treat everybody else good. So, you guys. Get that personal in. Let's get into it. This is going to be for my Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers for the sign of Cancer for the end of May 2019. All right. So my intuitive message is for this end of May. What I got for you guys was unexpected wealth. Come on. Come on, Cancer. Divine union. Purpose. Empath. Past life. Entitlement. Heart chakra. Acceptance. Clearing. Communication, healer, remembrance, triggers, interception, travel, contracts, manipulation, collaborative projects, closing out, walking away, and life cycles. Okay? So if any of that did resonate with my babies, let's talk about it. Overall energy for the um for the read. Five of space. So some of you guys could be in this space of kind of, some of y'all could also be arguing with people during this time, but I, I feel that this is more internally, okay? There's a lot of internal work that's being done with cancer. And for some of you all, this could also have to do with explosions. Watch your temper during this time, cancer. I definitely feel like people all over the world got you fucked up. Okay. Cancel's like, I've been nice. I've been understanding. <laughs> I've been compromising. Now I'm finna tell some shit up. You just tagged it in a hawk and shit. Bring it down, Carolina. Bring it down, Maribel. Bring it down. Okay. Take a deep breath. Woo fucking side, Cancel. Okay. Walk away. Mars is in your sign. And air, the, the fiery warrior ass Mars. It's not go well in cancer. <laughs> and it's kind of weird because I'm an Aries. That's my planet. And I've been in my feelings, feelings. Everything made me cry. Why did he have to do her like that? Because <laughs> it wasn't right. It wasn't right. You know, so you guys, you guys like we just switch places. I want you guys to know 
watch your temper and before you uh before you respond or react during this time you guys definitely pull back and reassess the situation and look at it from every angle so that you can kind of gain a different perspective now if you step on every angle and people still got you fucked up then hey it is what it is but you just you don't have to necessarily pop off okay because we are we in the season of instant karma jupiter saturn lovely pluto and Uranus did not come to play. They came to slay. <laughs> so with that said, be the eye of the storm. Don't be part of the bullshit. Okay? Watch the bullshit go around you. Back the hell up. Get in your little watery seat. And just take care of you for the time being. Let everybody else run around like chickens with their head cut off. Okay? So, <clears throat> your first message for the month comes from Archangel Sandophone. You guys got victory come through councils your prayers have been heard and answered have faith some of you all have a very um some of you guys have a repetitious dream but your dreams are very synchronistic some of you all may be experiencing a lot of deja vu moments your crown chakra is on fire during this time your intuition is on fleet baby meaning a lot of you all really need to trust yourselves and trust what you feel. And the things, a lot of you all are gaining clarity through your dream space. Some of you all, Mocha love the kids. I ain't seen it yet, but I am feeling the presence of little babies that want to come show their faces from the spiritual realm. Congratulations. I haven't laid the cards, but I have a connection to the babies on the other side. And it's a few of them knocking for y'all. And I am hearing unexpected. Okay, so for some of you all, I am hearing some of you guys may have thought you had fertility issues. Spirit is saying victory, baby. This, uh, you finna move forward. Congratulations on your family dynamic, on your blessings and your abundance directly from source, okay? For some of you all, you may be connecting. Um, some of y'all may be connecting a whole lot more spiritually. A lot of y'all are just focused on your spirituality during this time. Some of you all. Some of you all, whoever has been lighting um, purple candles, somebody been lighting purple candles. Some others of you have been lighting blue candles. It has to do with some type of disorder or healing. Um, when you go to the doctor, I'm hearing the 5th of June. Somebody had a doctor's appointment the 5th of June. When you go to the doctor the 5th of June, you're going to get good news. Your strong intention and your strong will and your positive focus has actually manifested your healing. You are a healer, whomever this is for. You've been running from your path, and this is only a testimony that you're supposed to share with other people as well as your gifts with other people. And I feel like you've been having some issue with maybe feeling as if you're going to be judged, you know, because Jesus was a healer. He was going around healing people, and folks had an issue with that. For some of you all, it's a gift. Many a call, you were chosen. Will you pick up the line? Yes. Will you... <laughs> Pick it up. The lefon. Okay? Because if you do, it's victory. If not, you guys, you're still going to be victorious. It's your season. The next card I got for you guys was Peace. Archangel Chamuel. Peace come remembering that only love is real. Okay? Some of you guys may be seeing white birds during this time. And I feel like those white birds have to do with some type of uh, renewal, some type of purifying. For some of you all, it is confirmation to whatever it is that you're praying to manifest, especially when they have to do with some type of entrepreneurship. And for some of you all, this is manifestation of a child after possibly losing a child I'm hearing three months ago. For some of you all, it was three years ago. But it's something about the number three. Some of y'all may also be seeing 333 as 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 expansion um, is about to reign itself in your world, baby. Be accepting. Some of you all, there's a need for you guys to not only speak your truth, but for you guys to know when to fall back from situations. You, there's a need for you all not to lose yourself trying to control aspects of people, circumstances, situations that is already being divinely guided to bring you a victorious outcome. We don't always know the answer because we can't always see everything with our earthly eyes. But just know the spirit is trying to bring you peace as well as victory in a situation, okay? The last message that you guys got is Archangel Jophiel. Clear your space. Get rid of clutter. Clear the energy around you. 
and use feng shui. Some of you all may also be practicing. That could have been what I was seeing too. With the energy. Some of you guys also may be using or using or manifesting using the art of the law of feng shui. Some of you guys also may be buying different like antiques during this time for your home. There's a need for some of y'all to get near a big body of water. There's some type of healing element or healing aspect that's trying to take place within you internally and connecting directly with source and your element. Some of you all may be finding white feathers during this time. For some of you all, there is a younger woman that is coming through who could have crossed over on the other side. This could be a sister. This could also be, um, for those of you, for others of you, this could also be a mother who's coming through in her youthful, in her youthful form. I definitely feel like there's a need for you guys to know that you are protected. Some of you all, there's a need for you all to clear the clutter and clear the energy around you for, so that you can work on your heart space. Because I definitely feel like some of you all, there's a need for me not even to pray to God to, to heal your heart, but for, to ask God to give you a whole new one, whoever I'm connected with. And I'm not going to cry today, but some of you all, this also has to do with... um. Some of y'all, you could have lost someone who passed over on the other side, and you, you, you you've um, created this harboring type attitude, holding on to these people's um, belongings, or holding on to your loved ones' belongings, and it's it's keeping you in this space of sadness. And you, whoever I'm speaking to, you have beautiful things ahead of you. Beauty is coming into your life, and you you don't want to push forward to. Put those things in a storage or to give those things away to family because maybe I'm, I'm feeling the energy of someone who didn't get anything for someone's belongings and maybe that's all you have left. This person wants you to know that it's okay for you to release them. It's okay for you to release them as they always live in your heart space. And for some of you all, you're going to get the confirmation of possibly white feathers or a white bird after you do so, okay? Whew. Yeah, so y'all always have me crying and stuff. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> some of you guys are internally conflicted about that, okay? And so for some of you all, you could be, um, some of y'all could be going through some type of emotional, um, emotional release when it comes to some type of separation or breakup with someone. Maybe you having to get rid of their belongings and it's kind of putting you in the space of, reminiscing, um, looking over the good times, kind of melancholy, but it brings back painful memories as well because it's kind of triggers to um, situations like some of y'all may find a shirt where someone could have cheated on you in the past. And I mean, for example, and I mean, just not being negative, but just kind of giving you an example because that's the emotion that I'm feeling, something that someone is finding that is going to force them to literally like ball, ball tears, okay? There's a need to know that spirit is bringing you peace and there is victory and you actually heal from that situation and move forward because some of y'all are praying for good and God is trying to give you better, baby. <sighs> but you got to re release the control around it. Quit expecting a particular outcome from a particular face. I'm here. Chris, show me what it is that my cancers can expect and love. Some of them Venus as well as the cross watchers for the end of May. What can they expect and love? Okay. Yeah. For some of you all, some of you all who are dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, strong emphasis on the Scorpio, and you have a family with this person, there may be conversations that are being had during this time. Someone could also be opening up emotionally and kind of letting you know that maybe they, yeah. Someone wants someone wants to manifest the same thing that you want to manifest, okay? And for some, some of y'all... Some of y'all who could possibly be in some type of um, family dynamic, okay, especially for those of you who do not have children. Some of y'all could be keeping a damn baby a secret. It could be finding out that you're pregnant, but you don't want to tell your family during this time, okay? And for some of you all, some of you all are actually, some of y'all are keeping it a secret that you're getting ready to move and leave your damn job as well, okay? And some of you all or on the brink of a new beginning, I feel like you, there's a need for you all to be courageous and just trust the process. Y'all, these cards are beautiful. Some of you all are having a hard time possibly moving away from a Leo or an Aries person. This person could have left you, or this has to do with having a hard time taking a leap of faith and trusting in the process as far as uh, being accepting being accepting to new love because of certain triggers that this new person may do that remind you of someone who could have possibly left you in the past. Or could have made you feel abandoned. 
Some of y'all are taking a leap of faith and leaving a damn earth sign, Capricorn, towards Virgo in the damn past. I feel like you have just tried everything that you could do, okay, to try to make the relationship work, and you just are just over the shit. And some of y'all are going to be expressing to this person that, you know, I'm tired of you making me feel as if I'm your, I'm, I'm sick, I'm hearing second best, as if I'm second best, okay? For some of you all, some of y'all, this definitely has to do with leaving a job and actually being starting your own business and being an entrepreneur. And I do see success here with this damn Ace of Pentacles. You're going to be successful, baby, if you just be courageous and jump off the damn cliff, okay? But some of y'all have this, you don't want to do that because you have this fear of being seen as disloyal. You don't, you, cancers don't like to let people down. That's what people don't know. Y'all beat y'all self up by letting people down. But for some of you all, some of y'all finna leave a job and don't tell no damn body. And yes, it is going to cause a damn tower moment. For some of y'all, it's the same energy in a relationship, especially if you're dealing with the Scorpio. Some of y'all could be dealing with the sign of Scorpio who could have to possibly leave a third party behind who could be a Virgo or a Leo. <clears throat> but you're in this energy of quickly moving toward the things that is going to bring your life growth, okay? Some of y'all are <laughs> cutting somebody out who just strictly have in and out ass energy. This person could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? And some of you guys could also be hearing some type of news or getting some type of clarity from a from a certain situation. Some of y'all could be receiving some type of email or DM or some type of instant message of someone, of information where someone could have been juggling. This could have to do with the earth sign, Capricorn, towards Virgo. Some of y'all could also be taking a leap of faith and just possibly leaving a deceitful ass air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in the past. And I feel like it's because this person comes in and out of your life. And you know what it is that you're, that you're going to allow. You know what it is that you desire. And this shit ain't it, okay? Some of y'all is also walking away from a Scorpio because they have communication issues. You're just not with the shits, okay? But some of y'all have new love in your life. This could definitely be a fire energy, strong Leo. Some of y'all strong Pisces. Some of you all, um, some of y'all could also be reconciling with the family, uh, some type of family dynamic with their cancer and Pisces. One second. I'm trying to clarify y'all. Just clarify these major icona. Y'all got a few of them. Yeah, some of y'all are causing the towel moment in the life of a fire sign. And this could have been because this person thought that they was being slick trying to go back and reconcile with somebody in their past. And when you would have normally forgiven this person like you normally do, you stepping outside of yourself like, you know what, motherfucker, you like cake. <laughs> we like cake, all right? The only difference is I'm going to be grown up by mine and tell you I'm not with the shit because I deserve more. And you know I do. That's why you sneak and do the shit. Here, why is the moon card here? Hmm. Some of you guys. Yeah. The moon card is here because some of you all are secretly moving away. Some of y'all could be leaving behind a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Some of y'all could also be moving away. Some of y'all could literally be leaving your partner by taking some type of opportunity that is going to bring your life massive abundance. Okay, this could also have to do with um, air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This could also have to do with the job dynamic. Some of y'all could be leaving a job and you're not telling nobody. I'm going to show you motherfuckers. Why is the strength card here? I already have failed. Yeah. For some of you all, some of y'all are on the brink of a new beginning. But you're indecisive because of where you've been in your past. Okay? And for some of y'all, you have a Leo that needs to choose between you and another person. Possibly an air sign. Or possibly an Aries person. Yeah, and some of y'all, some of you all, when it comes to the fool here, I got the Knight of Pentacles to clarify the fool with the Five of Pentacles. So some of you all want to take a leap of faith and accept an offer, but I feel like for some of you all, you're accepting an offer that is like you don't want to you don't want to jump off the cliff because this offer has been slow moving. So some of you guys are taking your chances elsewhere, possibly with new love. Why the tower here? Why the tower here? With the Knight of Wands, okay? Some of you all this could have to do. <laughs> some y'all, y'all, some of y'all are dealing with the sign of Gemini, 
All right. I definitely feel like some of you guys are putting your foot down. Look, motherfucker, you're going to stay in the door or out of the door. Quit letting them damn flies in my house because I'm really not with the shits. You're making it real unclean and dirty up in here. As a matter of fact, and some of y'all are going to find out that you have a Gemini in your life, or this could also be an Aries person, okay? I feel like you wanted to transform a situation or someone wanted to come in and transform a situation with you, but I feel like one person wants something. And another person just wants to kind of be in and out. Another person doesn't want to put a title on 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 the particular union, okay? So some of you guys are backing the fuck up away from the whole situation. Somebody still cancel. Somebody like cake. Somebody's definitely juggling. This could be an earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo. And this could definitely be with somebody from their damn past. Yeah. And for some of you all, you have a new beginning possibly with a fire sign where things are starting slowly. But maybe you could have dealt with another fire sign in the past that really got you kind of shook the hell up. Maybe this person reminds you of someone from your past, which makes you a bit hesitant to actually move into something new, okay? And some of you all are afraid to completely leave something from your past, which is not serving you because you feel as if you're going to miss an opportunity, yet you're still watching these people move on with other people, and they still didn't choose you, but they still want to be in your energy, or this could be you, Cancer. I definitely feel like there's a situation from the past that's closing up. This could involve any sign. Because everybody's here. But I definitely feel like for some of you, you're dealing with past life energies. Especially if you have children with these people. Okay? But I do see new love. New love is coming in for you guys. And it's something that's beautiful and it's going to bring your life abundant. But you have to completely walk away and move away possibly from a fire sign. Some of you guys want to travel towards. Yeah, some of y'all wanna. Some of you guys have new love. You may have to travel to see this person, or there's a sense of sealing a deal. Some of y'all could also have long distance relationships as well, or be meeting someone online long distance. I do see you guys being able to move forward to actually go see this person. For some of you all, it's going to be within the month of July, within your birthday season. But some of y'all are freeing yourself possibly from a relationship with the fire sign or possibly with another council and moving toward what it is that you truly desire. And for some of you all, you have to you need to make this leap of faith and stop being afraid and stop worrying about if you're going to be financially secure or not. You're going to be just fine coming through with this nine of pentacles. But I would not tell anybody to sit in situations where people are unsure, where people are not or non-committal, where people are holding down secrets, where people want to come in and try and finesse a situation. Some of y'all were possibly dealing with someone who was possibly using you for money. This could have been an Aries. This could have been a Capricorn towards Virgo. Spirit is saying, Cancer, release this shit. Release it. Stand your ground. You do not deserve to be treated as if you're somebody's second option. If you got to choose between me and anybody else, I would say that quickly. Choose their ass because I don't want it no more. I mean, all of the work is gone out of it. You know, so this is what I have for you guys uh, for the end of May. Y'all let me know how this resonates because this got to look crazy, baby. All right. Um, if you need a personal reading, guys, definitely that information again can be found in the description. Hit me up, boo. I'm on the road on to Pisces. Love y'all. Bye, boots.